Welcome back everyone. Well, it's been a while since my last video. A uh, real quick update. My wife and I, we had our baby boy. And uh, well, we're excited and lots going on. And I just wanted to give you all a quick update here at the beginning of this video. Now, on to this bag. This is a uh, World War II 1943 Masut bag. hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. You can see here C.W. Brenneman 1943 right there. And uh, I've not really talked about it on this channel before, but I'm just kind of a uh, World War II buff. I love the history of that time, that war. Uh, it's just fascinating to me the more I read about it and find out about that war and just that time period. And uh, I use that kind of as a good excuse to order some old military surplus. I found this on eBay. Finding these bags in good condition can be tough. And... Uh, I looked out and found this one. It has no tears or rips. And I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of do some canvas maintenance, which is what we're here to talk about today. The bag was in really good condition when I first got it. It was a, a bit faded, dirty, and mildewy. I noticed just a small patch of mold on one of the D-rings down here, actually the canvas that holds on this D-ring and it has all the original D-rings, all the original buckles and hardware. So what I did initially right off the bat was I just washed the bag in a mild detergent. I hand washed it and uh, gave it a good couple of rinses. Wanted to make sure all the detergent was out. I'll roll in some footage of that. The water was just probably a little bit was from the dye. Uh, it was like a dark, real dark brown green. Uh, probably some dirt, good bit of dirt in there, and uh, got that rinsed out. And then I proceeded to treat the uh, buckles a little bit. The most rust is really actually on this buckle here. It'll be hard to tell, but just above this top portion here, the paint has come off, and that's probably the most rust on this bag. And what I did here, I kind of took a note from Patriot, and uh, he's been doing some rust testing. He used a WD-40 specialist. It wasn't this uh, rust release penetrant spray. It was more of a uh, a preventer. Uh, it's a newer. It comes in a smaller canister, but I'll put the link right here to his video. And then really after that, it was just basically treat the canvas. And uh, there's so many options as far as do you buy something pre-made? Do you mix something at home like a, a paraffin and beeswax formula? There are uh, silicone sprays out there that you can just spray, uh, options that you can just brush on. What I ended up going with, and this is, I just happened to notice on my desk, I had some Obanoffs, uh, like a boot grease there, and this is kind of a greasy, a greasy kind of paste wax. And I just kind of massaged it in. Uh, the bag's not big. Uh, probably wouldn't do a lot of material with this. Uh, Open Office also sells a like a liquid spray on and you could just kind of spray and just saturate the whole bag that way let it penetrate and then after that you just basically let it dry you could let it dry out in the sun you could use a hair dryer or a heat gun to help speed that process up uh, I actually have access to a uh, kind of like a dryer it's on like a conveyor belt it does get really hot so I had to make sure that the belt was moving faster so it wasn't the bag wouldn't burn or the fabric would get too hot. Those of you that follow the channel have probably seen the theme of kind of maintenance videos over the past couple years and uh, I'm really big on that. I, I figure that if you take care of your gear it'll kind of take care of you and uh, and I like projects you know sometimes even if it's new gear uh, a lot of the ultralight guys are always finding ways to cut weight if you can if there's something that's not needed uh, cut it off, modify, adjust the gear, build your own gear. And even with this, in this case, something very old, you know, just taking care of it, maintaining it so it will last longer. Uh, there may be some guys out there that say you shouldn't have done anything to this old bag. You should have left it as is. I, I disagree with that. I didn't do anything that's going to be that I would feel that would harm this bag. As far as the bag value, I don't plan on selling it. I plan on actually using it and giving it a new life again. So, 
that's about it guys uh, appreciate you tuning in to watch uh, thanks for the comments as always hope you enjoyed this one I sure did take care